What's up guys? So a couple days ago I mentioned to you that I was going to try and take you along on more of my projects and builds and try and develop some, some new skills and use some parts I haven't used in a while. Well, this is that. Starting out today, this is uh, my lunchtime. I'm just out for a quick walk along the bridge. Pretty nice out here. Very, very cool. I'm gonna head back to the shop and what I think for today Yesterday we did the uh, the OLED project with the Arduino and I'm thinking for today would be really cool to just add a simple button to it. There's a lot of different ways to do that. You can do pull up and pull down systems on them. We're going to do a pull down today just because it makes logical sense for most code. Uh, it, it just, yeah, it just makes things easier for me. We'll use a, a simple resistor, do some quick mods to the code. I'll share it out and maybe it'll be handy for someone. Let's go. Okay, to get started, we're going to need... A switch. I've probably got all kinds of them here in the bin. Here's some interesting multicolored ones. They might work. I also have a whole package of these style, but I think I think we'll use one of these multicolored style. Okay, we're gonna use the same project again that we've started off. This is our nifty little OLED display, our Arduino Nano. You can find these linked in the description below in the previous video where we assembled this and did the basic code. What we need to do is we'll add the push button to this because in a lot of projects, you're gonna to wanna to add a button to it for whatever, whether menu activation or just human interface. And it's a handy little thing. To add our button on, we're just gonna go ahead and set it into the breadboard here. Nothing too crazy, pretty straightforward. Now we can use it with our Arduino. So with that in there, we're going to need a couple of wires. We're going to need a signal wire. So we'll use this terminal here and we're gonna run it over to pin D2 on the Arduino. That's just because, well, that's the input that I favored for this example and the one that I've already used in the code. So we'll go ahead and use digital pin two. The other side of our switch, we're going to need to run to five volts on the Arduino. So we do have a five volt pin. We can use that in this case, it's right over here. Now from our signal, we need to tie this low. We're gonna tie our signal line through a one to 10 kilo ohm resistor. This is a 10K in this case. And we're gonna hold that low until we press the button and that's going to give us our high. You can tie it high and then give the button to ground. It's, it's up to you, but I like, I like going from signal to our ground. So as our pull down, it just makes things easier in the code. And then a Boolean true false makes more sense in the code for me anyway. There we have it. We're just across to our ground, no problems. What we end up with, with the code I've written, I've gone ahead and just shown the state of the pin in just, in just Boolean, uh, just actually write it, you'll see in the code. Once we boot up here, we still have the Adafruit splash screen because I like to leave the code that they provided in the example. Now we're showing zero, press the button, now we've got a one. Handy dandy. So we have a, a, an input that's actually working quite well. It's not floating, it's nice and stable, and I don't think we need to do any debouncing or anything like that. It's gonna work good. So I'll show you how the code works and then you can use this for anything in your project. Nifty. Alrighty then, up in the lab, we're gonna go ahead and take a quick spin through this code. There's not much to it. What I did is I basically just went to the examples and downloaded the, uh, or opened the basics, uh, is it a digital button? There it is. There's not a lot of info in here, uh, a few comments, but they have, uh, they use the LED. We're gonna do that too. So I basically just copied everything into my sketch and reused it and recycled it. So there's not much to it. We did a constrained integer button pin two, the constrained integer LED pin is 13, the integer for the button state that globalizes it and not much to it. The setup, uh, I don't think there's anything difference in here. I did change things. So I went, to, I added a button state void and a write text void in the loop. So this is our entire loop. So first we call a button state, read the state of the button. We do a digital read of the button pin if it's high turn the LED on. If it's low, turn the LED off. And the right text. So we go to our serial, or not our serial, go to our OLED, and I set the text size to five. You notice that it was quite a bit bigger. And we set the cursor to zero, zero. You can put it wherever you want. Display print line button state. If you do this, it will just display the Boolean value of the button state, which is a one or a zero, which is kind of handy because when we push the button, it goes high. We fed our, our five volts through and that actually makes a one, which is perfect. 
Display.display just writes it out to the display. This delay is commented out. Don't need, delays are bad in code for the most part, but we don't need it there at all. And then we do a clear display and it just runs through the loop again. That's all there is to it. I hope this helps someone. It's fun to make these videos go back to basics and just kind of revisit things I haven't done in forever. I haven't added a, a button to a project in actually a long time because I usually use a, uh, pre-existing code that I already have, uh, like for my uh, Lear 45 cockpit project, I use the rotary encoder buttons and stuff, handy dandy, but I just copy and paste that code over and over, so it's good to start from basics, show you guys where I came from, how to get the job done, maybe it'll help you, maybe it won't. I just want to make these videos, I'm going to challenge myself to keep making these every couple of days, click a thumbs up if you like this new content, if you like this new format, truly appreciate it. Join me in the Discord or on Patreon down below. Have a good one.